Hey there everyone, how's it going? Tarun here. So this video is gonna be kind of different because we are gonna walk through my blog to learn how to use generator functions. Okay, so by the way, this is a blog article from tarunshiv.com. Okay, you can visit it. I regularly update it with new blogs from all kinds of domains. If you are a programmer or if you are if you are a developer into whatever field, you will feel you will find something useful here. So one of these articles are four ways to use generator functions. So we're going to walk through this article and get to know more about generator functions and how you can use this article to try out the snippets on your own. All right. So I had previously talked about generator functions. I thought why not go deeper into generator functions and give you a more clear overview over about it. So as you all know about generator functions, they return as an iterator okay which then can be used to stop the function in the middle do something and resume it whenever so a normal function if you know it it starts executing and returns when the function completes right you cannot stop it in the in the middle but a generator function can be stopped any number of times and resumed later all right so how does it work so calling a generator function does not execute the function completely as soon as it's called. It will return an iterator object that can be used to call the function. All right. So this function can be executed part by part where these parts are decided by the yield expression. Okay. There's this yield keyword. All right. To, to execute these parts, the dot next method is used on the iterator. And when the dot next method is called, the function resumes execution until the next yield is found. All right. Or until the function completes or the return statement is executed. About this third point, we will look at few examples below and you will completely understand it. And every time you execute the dot next method, the generator function returns you with an object that looks like this. Okay. Value some value and done is false. Now what are these value and done? Okay. The value here is the value sent by the yield. Okay. And the done indicates if the generator function has run completely. So once the generator function has run completely until the end, okay, it, the done value will be false. And once it reaches the end, the done value will be true. So let us look at few examples. Okay. There are four kinds of examples, which I want to demonstrate. So the first example is the basic usage usage of generator function. So if we run like using this normal generator function, so how do you define a generator function? So you just mentioned function along with the asterisk and the function name, and you define a variable, let number equal to one and while true, you'll yield number plus plus. So what does this give? Okay. It gives infinite number of uh, numbers, right? From this, it keeps on giving. So you cannot write this using a normal function because if you write this, it is just going to keep on executing and it is going to crash because how many numbers will it generate? It, it won't know when to stop also. But if you're using generator function, you can get an instance of it. Okay. Uh, sorry. You can, you can, you can call that function. Okay. And you can use that to call dot next dot value, which will give the values. So this will give one, two, three, four, and so on. All right. So let us try executing this code in R. So how will you execute that? You just select it. Control C to copy. Let's open our visual studio code. All right. Our visual studio code is open. Let's create a new JavaScript file js 24.js control B to put it to that side. And we are just pasting, pasting this code here, opening the terminal and going into our JavaScript JS folder and running node JS 24 dot js and when i run that it gives me one two three four of course what it does is natural number iterator dot next dot value dot next will run here it will come here and it will go to the yield so the yield will give us the number plus plus which means it will give us the incremented value of the number and then it will give us that value again when we call it give us a value and if i keep doing this several times shift alt 
down button shift alt down button this is several times okay and if I run it again see we get it until 12 okay 1 to 12 so we can use this as a natural number generator right so this is one of the examples and the next example we see here is calling generator within a generator Ooh, it's like an inception so we can use the generator and asterisk to call another generator from within a generator okay so we can have a, a function which is another generator and we can have my generator okay, which is a normal generator and we can call the generator and pass in an argument okay and this generator function will receive that argument and first time you call it it is going to print yield high uh, whatever the name you pass and the next time you call it it is going to call this another generator with this parameter with this argument which is name and it receives this name as a pa parameter and it is going to yield this statement from another generator by the way this backticks if you didn't know it is used to include this variable okay like this you can use the dollar sign along with the variable name and the third time we're going to use dot next it is going to yield as by so the same thing you can look at the output here so if you want to use if you want to try this code just copy this code from tarunshiv.com and paste it here save it and open the terminal and run it we get high shiv from another generator shiv and buy right so that is how the generator works and the inception methodology of generator works now passing arguments into generator the one more way one more way we can do is when we call the next all right you can pass in arguments into the next and that will be received as this yield and you can just print that yield but one thing which you have to do is you'll have to run gen.next once so that the function starts executing and it comes here okay and and for your information these kind of statements are ex are executed from right to left so it will come here and from right to left it, when it comes to this yield keyword it's going to stop so to do that you will have to do this gen.next and once you run the next gen.next it is going to take this tarun and it's going to put here and the next gen dot next is going to run this is going to put here and it's going to tell are you shiv okay so hey tarun are you shiv let's try this so it tells hey tarun are you shiv so that is about this program so the last example we have is once returned no more yields so what we can see here is we have a yield statement here in this function right but we have a return statement before the yield so what will happen is once you give the first gen dot next it is going to come until here and it is going to give value is y and done equal to false and when you give the next dot gen uh, dot okay gen dot next what it's going to do is it is going to uh, keep going down to find the next yield but before that it reaches to this return which means it's the end of the program and it returns r and it tells done is true because it has come across a return statement and after that whatever you call it is going to tell the done is true okay so let's try this Yes, it did that. Values y, values r, values undefined, and done equals to true. So that is all with these examples. One more general doubt which I have is when we have the normal example. Wait, let me pick an example. Okay, we have this example. All right, let's just make it simpler. Okay, let's not have this. All right, now here let us just print gen dot next all right no need of the value we're going to print both value and done so if i print this okay so what we get here is for the first dot next okay it comes here the generator so on so on so on and it comes here and it comes across this yield 
and it prints that yield statement okay it gives high shiv and the done is false just have a look at the done value done values and then when i call the next uh, next method it comes here and it prints by and it gives us done is false and what happens is see the function is over here but still the done value is false many of you all might get doubt about this so what happens essentially here is once it comes here it doesn't know what is beneath this it doesn't know if there are some other uh, expressions below or if it is the end of the function it doesn't know that and only when i call the 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 next dot next method it it continues from here and it sees that this part is empty and we'll have to return back to the uh, whatever method which called it and that time it passes us the done value as true okay just remember this so that you don't get confused when writing all right so this is about generator functions all right so this is about generator functions and few advantages of using generator functions are for lazy evaluation and for memory efficiency so lazy evaluation in the sense say there is an infinite stream of data we cannot spend our whole life evaluating that data right hence we can use generator function to evaluate as and when required and memory efficient because as the lazy evaluation method is used only those data those computations that are necessary are used okay so it's memory efficient so that is all for this video i hope you understood very well uh, also please let me know uh, how you uh, felt about this tutorial where you are learning from a blog article directly and you also have the what to say the access to the whatever i'm speaking and the code which i'm using directly okay you can copy and paste of course there is a github repository associated with this course if you didn't know you can go there you can download all of the code which i'm using for this course otherwise just let me know how you feel about this video it will help me decide better for the future so thank you all for joining me see you all in the next video